Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. And that's precisely what we're going to talk about today, saving money's style. The winners and the losers. But we'll be back in a few seconds. Hi, if you are brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a veteran here, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you just drop them by to say hi, hey, hi back at you, and I hope you stick around. By the way, if you do want to subscribe to this channel, all you have to do is tap on your screen in the lower right-hand corner, and you'll see that little subscribe button right on your screen. Just tap it, and it takes you there. But if you really want to stick around, tap on the notification bell so you always know when I upload because I upload at various times. Although I upload many times in the morning, there are many times that I've been known to upload in the mid-afternoon or early evening. So if you want to stay in the loop, tap the notification bell. Hope that everybody's doing well today. You know, we're going to take a minute. We're going to talk about people that love to say, eh, it's only a dollar. Eh, it's only 50 cents. Eh, Add to this, add to that, and then we're going to talk about the person that says, "Well, do I really have to? Do I really have to make that purchase?" You know, the kind of person that takes a minute and steps back and wants to get their money's worth. Okay, there are two completely different styles. Now, I'm going to share a story with you that you may not even believe. In my younger days, when I was working. At an office, this is way younger, like way younger, okay? What was I? I'm not sure. Probably about 19 or 20 years young, okay? And I was working at an office, and, you know, I thought nothing of paying, buying my lunch out every single day. I thought nothing. If it was a rainy day, I didn't feel like going to the place to get it. I would call it in, and then, of course, you have to pay for tips. So you're adding, you know, insult to injury at that point. So even myself, I went through that period of time where I was like, eh, it's only $5, eh, it's only $2 extra tip. This is nonsensical thinking if you are truly interested in saving, okay? There's a wonderful channel out there. I know I've shouted it out in the past, and I'll always shout it out every once in a while, called Q Makes It Happen. This this young gentleman, he went from student debt that he's like now investing, okay? But here's the thing. When his videos first started off, many of them focused around finding nickels, dimes, quarters in the street we could let me i gotta look up a video like that and hook it up in the description box below it'll take you right there he thought nothing of it and he has had the attitude of that nickel counts that quarter counts well his student debt is is gone okay he paid it off okay he also picked up cans bottles whatever he could find there, there definitely there's definitely two different mentalities going on okay so over time, when I realized it myself, I said, wait a minute, I could have saved that money and put it away. Then I went through, you know, the you know, very careful period of time for a while, which was great. And then I also had a temporary lapse in a not so distant past. And I've told that story a gazillion times, but for the brand new person, let's just say that I would spend a lot of money every single month on a simple bagel. And when I did the actual math after I stopped making that bagel out, not, not a bagel that you get in the grocery store and the prepackaged thing that you can make at home and toast. This was the outside bagel because mentally I must have thought, oh, it's so good to just have someone else make that bagel for me. I felt special. I think sometimes that we associate certain events with certain feelings. I really, really believe that. Maybe I felt special extra special for five minutes that somebody else was buttering my bagel and toasting it for me. And please let me give him $3 to include that $1 coffee that went with it. Yes, even I have had lapses. But the thing is, step back. Are you having lapses? Do you think, well, it's just the book extra, whatever, for, you know, all right. A friend of mine, <laughs> she and I, normally this person was always frugal minded. 
but we went to a store one day and it was like a dollar, you know, type store, whatever. And you figure, well, it's the dollar. So, you know, you can get into a lot of trouble overspending in dollar stores. Let me grab some water. It's very hot today. Excuse me. <laughs> but um, stay hydrated, everybody, especially those, you know, you know in the heat. Um, getting back to this for a second. So she saw this most, in my opinion, but she fell in love with it, this most ridiculous looking thing. It was a plastic pickle. It was like an animated thing. So I couldn't, can't describe it. It was just like a personality on a pickle. I don't, I don't understand. It was a fake pickle, but it had a face on it or something. I, she just fell in love with it. In my mind's eye, I'm thinking total waste of money, just a junky piece of something. Okay, I'm not saying that you can't ever have, you know, once in a while stuff like that. And again, I have to preface this. When I create these videos, please don't think I'm hammering hammering the person that has the money to do whatever they want. My, my channel gears to motivate the person that really wants to save. We all need motivation. Even some of us fail at times, okay? But to have the attitude that it doesn't make a difference is just sheer lunacy. The best assignment as a former teacher that I could give you. <laughs> so let's uh, let's look at it like this. I don't want you to think it's a homework task, but consider doing this today. Analyze your own personal habits. Is there something that is causing your wallet to leak? Wouldn't you feel much better going to the bank? and putting that money away or allocating that fund towards a specific goal. Like I want to put it towards, you know, a nice vacation, you know, everything is coming back now and you're going to, you know, want to maybe do that vacation uh, in a few months if you, you know, were strapped, you know, during the last few months. So have some goals, but never ever take the attitude. Oh, it's just a buck because people that chronically think like that, in my honest, honest opinion, it's just it's just devastating and it's just ridiculous. Have you ever done that? Have you ever said out loud, ah, it's just, you know, just a nickel? I have a question. Now, this sounds really awful. Have you ever, if you saw a dollar in the street, okay, and there's no traffic, would you go run and pick it up? Just curious. That sounds crazy, but just curious. All right, let's know. Let's revise that. Not the street. If you saw a dollar on the sidewalk, sidewalk. Would you attempt to pick it up? If you saw quarters, you know, laying around somewhere safely, would you, you know, pick it up? It wouldn't hurt to carry a pair of gloves just for that purpose. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not saying going around scouting out change on the floor. Not that there's anything wrong with that because Q did it and he created, he, he filled up a change jar. He filled up a change jar. Let me see if I have my change jar right here. All right. He, changed, he filled up a change jar, something like this. Okay? So, you know, little little things, you know, little things add up. That's it. Basically, it. Uh, don't think like the losers do because they lose. Losers, it's not a characteristic. It's an action. Don't be a loser in action when you could be a gainer. Just be observant and take a minute. That's it. Hey, find clever ways that you have saved. Let me know. I would love to know in the comments section below. All right. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. Why? Because I really do appreciate who? You. Don't forget to check out the link below with the Q Makes It Happen channel. He is a great guy with a great story and really motivating. Okay. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care now, everyone. Bye-bye.